Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are playing Sprocket yet again. It has been a long time since I've played this game, and I figured that we would actually make some videos on it again, so uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into Sandbox, and we'll build ourselves a tank. Hopefully it'll be a good one. I'm gonna go with like a tank destroyer type thing, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it actually fares in a mission. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Now, it has actually been ages since I've played this game, so I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about building this, but um, we're going to go for it. So, free form holes is the first thing that I want to do. Then the second thing that I want to do is get rid of the fenders, because I always do. So there you go. We're going to go with road wheels at the bottom of this one being quite small. So let's go with mobility. In fact, let's do the wheels first. That makes sense. So we'll go with this. We'll make them further forwards. And we'll also actually make them quite small. So road wheels... Uh, diameter, pretty small, mm, actually, I don't know. We'll make this taller, we'll make this taller. I want the idler to be way bigger, there we go. And that's gonna go around here like this, that's fine. And then the sprocket at the rear is actually gonna be really big too. So the diameter of the sprocket, uh, is actually gonna be quite large, just like so. I don't know whether to have it, like, raised quite as high as these. I think I'm gonna lower it down slightly. There we go, but we are gonna raise everything up a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. That works. Um, these guys, I want to separate them quite a bit, too. So if we can put some separation between them. Spacing on axle is not what I want. Spacing, in general, is what I want. There we go. Fantastic. So, we're going to do the wheels first. I haven't used these before. Kind of want to. Um, but yeah, the big sprocket at the front is going to look like that. That's fine. The road wheels themselves, I kind of want to go with that. I know it might be a little bit weird, but sure, we're going to go with it. Uh, the return rollers themselves are also going to be these, and yeah, that's all fine. The track segments themselves, I don't know what to go with these things. Um, I kind of like the old-fashioned ones like this, but I feel like we should use slightly newer ones like these ones. I think that would be really cool. So we're going to go with that. Okie dokie. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and start work on the actual body of the beast. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So select all. Let's raise this up uh, so that it is around there. I think that's probably fine. Um, we're gonna go to the points themselves, uh, this one and this one, and we're gonna drag those backwards. Yeah, actually, you know what, maybe the entire thing should be flattened a bit. There we go, just like so. We'll then extend it, and then we can bring it backwards from there like this. Yeah, that makes more sense anyway. So that's good. Grab this one and this one, bring it forwards. There we go, awesome. And, yeah, that works, that's really cool. Uh, for the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and have this drop down, and angle backwards quite a bit. In fact, we're going to do it with this bit too. There we go. And we're going to grab this one, extend it backwards. There we go. Yeah, that works. That really works. Okay, so faces, grab this one and this one, extend it out sideways, because we can come out quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's cool. That works. All right, so I am kind of feeling like uh, we should extend this out sideways a little bit more. So the separation of the tracks is going to be out a little bit more. Uh, we're then going to go back to this, and we're going to extend these guys out a little bit more. And, yeah, that works for me. I think that's a pretty good way of doing it. Okay, so now, for the bottom piece, we're going to go with all of these. We're going to extend them down. Uh, I'm actually going to bring them down quite far, and we're going to push them backwards. There we go, just like so. That's fine. As for the rear bits, though, we are going to push these back in. Because I don't want, like, a big step on the back. I think that's weird. But there we go, that's going to go back in there like that. And that's fine. Yeah. I think so, anyway. Oh, you know what would actually be really nice, too, is to make these guys bigger. So go to mobility. I'll do it on this side so you guys can see. Uh, these guys, the return rollers, uh, are going to be a little bit bigger. Oh, I say a little bit and make them huge. All right, there we go. A little bit bigger. We're going to drop them down. And I want the width of them, or at least the spacing of them, uh, to come out quite far. Actually, the width of them as well. There we go. So width of them quite far. Bring them back so that they fit just inside of there. And honestly, that's pretty cool. I now can't decide whether they should be this or not. So, return rollers. Let's go with something else, like that. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okie dokie. So, this is where things get a little bit more, uh, let's say, interesting. So, faces. We're going to extend this one upwards. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to split it. So, if I can figure out how to do that, that would be amazing. Edges. Go there. Split it. There we go. Excellent. Go to faces. Uh, we're going to extend the rear one upwards. 
There we go, which we are also going to extend on the front too. But bring it quite far forwards to about there. That's actually fine. Yeah, that's cool. Um, at the rear, we're going to have this bit go inwards quite a bit. But also be raised up quite a bit too. There you go. So that's going to raise up. This is going to raise up. And the bit at the front actually is going to raise up too. Just a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, also, we're going to grab both of these and extend these in too. There we go. Fantastic. And it's a little bit weird, but that is okay. That is fine. Um... Okay, so as for these pieces, we're going to extend these sideways. Oh, I hate when this happens. So, because I've extended it like this, that one doesn't want to do it. That's really annoying when that happens. Maybe we can do it with these? Hey, there we go. This might help. So, we're going to bring these guys backwards like so. Um, we're then going to grab this guy and this guy, and we're going to extend it out to there so that it somewhat fits together. There we go, just like so. We're going to bring this one and this one downwards also, just a little bit. And then we're going to grab that one and send it out a little bit to about there. And we're going to try and do the same thing on the rear to about there. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, that works. So it looks kind of interesting at the moment, but I think it's cool. Um, what I would also like to do is actually extend this guy backwards too. And realistically, I'd like to grab the other one and do the same thing. So bring that backwards to here also. Uh, and I think that would be really cool. There we go. So we're going to do something like this. That looks sick. Oh, and I guess the other thing that needs to happen is these guys, um, wherever they are right here, they need to come outwards too. So I don't know where this is extending from uh, in order to do this, but this piece needs to go out. Maybe it is just this. There you go. So that needs to go to there. Um, I think that's fine. Yeah, okay. So the gun is going to go in the middle section. So let's go ahead and do that. Extend this upwards. We're going to bring it up quite far. And we're going to angle it in. At the top. So grab this one and this one. Extend it in. There we go. Good. Uh, and honestly, I think we're going to extend this one. Hopefully it works on both sides. It is. Alright, that's fantastic. We're going to bring this down into here. And we're going to extend this guy and this guy inwards. Quite a lot. Bring it down. And that's kind of cool. That is very cool, actually. Bring this bit backwards. And also this bit backwards. And then that bit backwards even more. And that bit backwards even more. There we go. Um, yeah, that actually looks sick. I love that. Okie dokie. So if we are going to leave that the way that it is, uh, obviously our gun is going to have to go in the center. I don't know where the driver is going to sit. Um, whether they sit down here in the hull, whether they sit there, I'm not sure. But uh, let's go get a gun and see what we can do with it. So because it is uh, essentially a tank destroyer, uh, we want the gun or the turret or whatever to be able to move itself. Uh, which is slightly annoying. In, in the grand scheme of things, but we'll try. So, put that on there. We're going to make it a lot bigger, because it's going to be a huge gun. But we're going to put it right there. So, it should be able to traverse, so side to side. Should be able to go upwards and downwards. And, yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, so, cannon itself. 88mm gun. Let's go, actually, 110mm gun. That's even bigger. Pretty ridiculous. We're going to make it by 800mm. There you go. Excellent. And, yeah, we're going to start by adding this. Um, three meters to this, probably. There you go, three meters. That looks about right anyway, but we'll go a bit bigger. So I'll extend it by another meter. We'll also attach this guy to the end. And that is starting to look sick, to be honest. Let's go ahead and lower this down a little bit. And there we go. I think that's what I want. I think that is actually legit what I want. Okay, so there are a few issues with this uh, anyway. So what we need to do is actually go back to compartments. We need to go to faces and grab the side of this. Unfortunately... Uh, this is, like, kind of wrong in the way that it is um, because of the way that it's, like, angled and stuff like that. So what we need to do is actually grab the bottom. So go to faces, grab the bottom, extend this bit upwards if possible. There we go. That's fine. Um, actually, that's not quite right. That's not quite right. We need to grab just this bit right here and this bit right here and extend these guys upwards so that they somewhat fit directly over the uh, tracks. There we go. We're then going to grab this one and send it backwards. Just like so. And we're going to send this one backwards too. And that one. Way. There we go. Kind of interesting. Uh, if I can, bringing this up would work. There we go. Which actually means we should bring this bit upwards too. And probably this bit upwards as well. But hey ho, there you go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I think we've done a decent job with the, uh, with the way this looks. Now we need to fit like the engine uh, and stuff like that. And all of the decoration too. 
All right, so mobility. Um, spares, obviously we can add spares if we need to. I don't think we do need to. Uh, what I am going to do is extend this downward slightly. I'm going to bring this downward slightly too. And also this downward slightly. So that I can make the, um, the thickness of the tracks a little bit more. There we go. So it looks like it fits in a little bit better. Which it does, so that's good. Anyway, go to crew. Uh, let's start adding things. So, in order to get into the tank, we're going to get in via this bit at the rear. I think that is probably fine. There you go. Bit weird, but I think that's okay. Stowages. We're going to add two stowages on the rear back here, if we can. So, fit those on. And then angle them and fit them into position better than that. So, they're going to go around there. That seems pretty good. Um, what else do we need? Lights. Very important. Very, very important. They're going to go directly in the front like this. That's okay. And then, obviously, the rear ones are just going to go right here. There we go. Good. Utilities. Um, this is something that I really struggle with making look nice, but essentially they're just going to go on the side. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys around there. There we go. Good. I usually put this on the opposite side, so we'll do that. I don't even have to make it smaller on this tank for once. That's good. And then we're going to do this on the front in the middle, if possible. So we're going to make it even smaller and fit it right there. Right there. Okay, fantastic. That's good. We're also going to add these guys behind these lights, just in case we need them. Uh, and that's fantastic. Grab some more. Put them on the edges. Um, I guess there. That's probably fine. Let's grab some more. Move them to the back. On the edge. There we go. Fantastic. And then on the rear themselves, like that. Okay, good. Slowly but surely, we're making this thing look beautiful. Commander's Coupler is something that we should have. Um, I'm actually just going to whack it on there at the back. That's okay. Viewports. We obviously need the driver to go somewhere. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I want this. I'm thinking here, but extended to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, extended to be a little bit bigger in terms of width. There we go. And then I want to, like, extend it backwards. So I want to push it back and sideways and have it pretty much there. But, like, this isn't quite right. I want it to be there. We're going to go with that. I know it's a little bit off, but I want to go with that. That's good. Okay, excellent. Um, gunner's sight, we also need one of those. It's going to go directly to the side of the gun. That makes sense. And unfortunately, what doesn't make sense on this is our fully flat front end for the gun. Um, so if we can extend this forwards like this, that actually makes some sense. And if we can grab all of these on the top and extend those backwards a little bit. Yeah, that'll make more sense for the actual gun. Brilliant. Yeah, cool. I've actually had second thoughts about the uh, the viewport, so go back to crew, go ahead and grab this, and we'll actually whack it in below here, uh, just like so, there you go. So if the driver's in there, they're below the gun, they're at the front, out of the way, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like that. Uh, right, okay, crew hatches and stuff like this, I'm actually going to add one of these um, in the between these two, just in case we need it, so that's fine. Um, and then yeah, we need to work on other things too, so I want the engine stuff in here. Um, so let's do that real quick. Go to mobility, go to engine, grab a exhaust. I don't really know which exhaust I like using. I, I think this one's like my favorite. Um, if I could fit two of them next to each other, that'd be fantastic. There we go, like that. That looks sick. Yeah, I like that. Uh, vents themselves, we are just going to have one big one in the center real quick. There you go, just like that. And then we're going to have two smaller ones like this, uh, just in front. There we go, fantastic. In fact, they're going to be a little bit further forwards. So we're going to put them there. Okay, brilliant. Um, do do do. Go back to crew. Storages. There are more storages that we could add, I suppose. Um, but are there any that we actually desperately need, is the question. I don't think so. I don't think there's any reason to add more storages. So, in fact, actually, maybe we could put one there. And bring them in. Oh, this is making me feel sick. Whoa, that was weird. Alright, there we go. So that's going to go there. Alright, awesome. Yeah, I think we've built something that's actually pretty cool here. Um, is there anything else that I really want to add to this thing? Maybe a radio operator would be good. So we'll grab that. We'll grab a radio operator. Fantastic. Alright, so next thing is actually armor. So the whole front end of this thing is going to be well armored because it is a tank destroyer, of course. We want the front end to be very armored. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make all of these guys pretty thick. We're going to go with like 125. I don't want it to be too thick. 140. There we go. Grab these guys. 140 also. 
Uh, grab this guy on the bottom. This is relatively flat, so it is actually also going to be 140. There you go. All right, brilliant. This guy right here is going to be way more than that. 170. These guys are going to be actually quite a lot more than that as well. Also 170. There we go. This guy, it needs a bit of armor, so we're going to go with 100. Um, and then we need to do the sides. So the sides themselves are going to be extremely armored because it would be uh, really thick there. That's good. Um, we're going to grab these guys and these guys as well. These are going to be the same, so we're going to go with 100... And 10, that's fine. On the rear, because it still can actually get shot, um, we're going to go with about 80. This guy right here on the rear, on both sides, is going to be 80 also. And then on the rear itself, I don't think we need it to be that thick or that strong, so let's go with about 50. Actually, 60 makes sense. There we go, good. As for the top, we're going to go with about 65. There you go. Uh, the rear of this is also going to be about 65. There you go, fantastic. The top of this, um, I don't know, 90? There we go, fine. Maybe not the middle one, though. That can only be, like, 50. There we go, all right, cool. That works. I think we've pretty much armored everything except the side sides. Uh, these guys are going to be pretty armored, not going to lie. 130 right there, and 130 right there on this side, too. Brilliant. Uh, the undersides, this bit isn't armored yet, so we're going to go with 90. And then the underside, underside which is the uh, the bottom, isn't going to have very much at all. Let's say 40. There we go, good. All right, nice. Uh, this bit isn't armored at all, and presumably this bit isn't armored. We're going to go with quite thick, 120. Excellent. I'm going to increase this one too, um, purely because it could get shot in the side, um, and that, that that is something that we need to uh, pay attention to. So pretty strong on the sides, really strong on the front. That's excellent. Yeah. We're also in late war. I wanted it to be mid-war, but never mind. Okay, cool. So, we've done it to the point where I think we're actually good to go into battle. Um, so, yeah. All right, livery is the next thing that I want. I always go with this one. I actually really like this livery. We're going to make the scale of it a little bit a little bit smaller. Let's go with, like, 50%. There we go. And that's really cool. And then we need a decal. I think we're going to go with, like, a... I don't know, British. Let's go with, like, a British thing. So, we're going to put this on both sides. Right there, and then same on the other side. Oh, it's a bit big. It's a little bit big. Let's make it smaller. And yeah, we'll actually just whack it right in there. I think that's fine. We'll also have one on the front too. There we go, and that's fine. Okay, yeah, cool. We're going to go with that. We're also actually going to add one of these to the rear as well, just in case anyone's behind us. That seems really, really cool. So yeah, we should go with this. Nice. All right, there is one more thing that I didn't actually work on properly. We didn't actually work on the engine at all. So we're going to go with very fast, apparently. That's what this is. I don't know whether that's actually true. I want to say that it's not. Um, so yeah, 4,000. Okay, 4,000. We're going to go 2,000 here. 2,000 there. Uh, min? Oh, no, 2,000 here. There you go. 4,000 here. And then 2,000 here. There we go. 175 horsepower. 3.6 horsepower per ton. Um, we're actually going to go with two more cylinders. It might as well be quite big. Um, yeah. Okay. Can I increase the displacement? I can. I want to go with two liters per. So two liters per. That's good. Uh, 3,600. 3,600. Um, 1,700. 1,700. There we go. So it revs a little bit at less. But, we've got more horsepower per ton, so that's good. Does it move? Yeah, we need a radio antenna. Hang on, let me get one of those. Radio antenna, where you at? Antennas, here we go. And also, stronger suspension would be brilliant too, but it's not something that we have just yet. Alright, they're going to go right there. Um, right, mobility, suspension, our tracks. There you go, suspension. Uh, dampener, I don't know. Diameter of the bar, actually quite a lot bigger. And length of the bar, quite a lot bigger too. There, we're going to go with that. Is that better? I think so. Alright, fantastic. Now we need a traverse on the actual gun, and then we should be good to go into an actual battle. So, azimuth. It doesn't currently have any azimuth. I need it though. So, where do we work on that? Gun mount. There we go. Um, azimuth. Yes, torque. Going to go with quite high. 
There, we're gonna go with that. So now we can aim side to side. And we can aim up and down. And that's good. Alright, fantastic. I'm really happy with this. So, let's go ahead and send it into a mission, shall we? Alright, here we are. This is the British Tank Destroyer. Let's just go for it, shall we? Do we get any friends? I don't know whether we get any friends. I don't think so. I don't think we got any friends. That's annoying. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head in towards the enemy. We're going to shoot them and hopefully not die. One tank versus the rest of the enemy is a bit scary, though. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there's some tanks over there. The trees are falling down. I can't really put myself in an exposed position to the side, though. But I'm going to have to. I'm legitimately going to have to. Also, the bloom on this map is crazy. It's actually crazy. Alright, there's a tank right there. Let's try and shoot that one. Alright. Uh, I don't know whether we killed it. I don't think we did. Ow, I'm being shot in the side. Alright, now it's dead. Okay, excellent. Let's reverse and try and... Ah! Okay, i got to position myself better. Let's make sure all of the enemies are in front of me. By driving up this hill. Alright, we got this. Wait a second, I might be able to shoot him from here. So let's go ahead and try that real quick. Here we go. Yes, there is a tank right there. Let's shoot it. He didn't die. It actually didn't die. That's not good. Every shot that I take needs to kill. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Because they're going to surround me and I'm in a tank destroyer by myself. There is no other friends with me. Okay, is there any over there? Yes, there's one right here. Alright, I'm going to try and kill this guy first. Let's do that. Straight through. I mean, straight off. It bounced straight off. Not even a big tank. It's a little one. There we go. Now it's dead. Puma's dead. Okay, excellent. There are more tanks coming around my side. I need to make sure there is... Oh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Alright, it's shot. Let's hope that it goes straight through on the first shot. It didn't. Oh, yikes. I know that there's tanks on my left. That's my problem here. I, I've tracked it. Shoot me, please. Uh, I'm going to use it as, as armor. <laughs> I'm going to use it as armor. Okay, so I'm going to hide behind you. You're going to be... Oh, yeah, yeah. Shoot your own tank. Good. Okay, so there's, there's tanks shoot me from miles away. That's another one. Oh, that's a lot of armor there. It's a lot of armor that I just shot at. Okay, here we go. You're gonna die first, okay? You didn't die. Oh, this isn't good. Also, my tank is tiny. Look at it. I seem to think that it's massive to begin with, but then it's really small. All right, I killed it. I'm now trying to hide. Oh, you're sideways. Yes. Okay, excellent. You're dead. Anyone else need shooting? Yep, someone does. I don't know where they are, though. Alright. Oh, hang on. Let me deal with them first. Where are they? I don't see them. I don't see them. Also, I really want to take out this, this, this guy. So that he doesn't miraculously shoot me. There we go. Alright, we got him. King Tiger 1, dead. Oh, they just shot him again, and now he's on fire. Okay, right, turn towards them. I see one right there. Oh, I don't see it when I've zoomed in, though. Is that it? Hey, there we go. That one's dead. And then there's another one somewhere out there, too. I think that guy's dead. Don't know where the other one is. We need to see where the shot comes from and return fire. Oh, he isn't dead. He's not dead. That's the last one. Okay, it's me versus a King Tiger. Yikes. Shoot in the back. There we go. King Tiger 2, dead. Brilliant. This thing actually worked really well. Fantastic.